hi guys and welcome back to the channel i'm vanessa and today i am gonna take you guys with me um i was i actually just completely forgot to film yesterday so i am just gonna edit that um as me and david talking about it because i just completely forgot like i don't even know what i was thinking but i completely forgot to vlog everything and yesterday was the day that i went to go talk to a genetics um doctor so just to figure out basically why i got the cancer which is colorectal cancer do you guys like my nails they're periwinkle for my mom because her ribbon color was periwinkle so um anyways and today i'm gonna go see uh, my radiation doctor um, I'm not too sure what the plan is going to be yet, but I'm just going to take you guys with me this whole week. I have like an appointment every single day this week. And I'll just let you guys know what he says. Um, I have a couple of questions that I'm going to ask and I'm going to make sure that I um, edit this later um, and let you guys know what the questions I asked and what I am going to expect from radiation if I even get any, which I'm hoping I don't. Um, and I won't need, but just in case, um, if I do go through it, I'll have some answers before I start. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and um, um, start walking. I am at the cancer center right now, and I love this cancer center. It's so nice here. Everybody here is so nice. So yeah, let's um, go see what they're gonna tell me. All right, so I am in the, my room already. Um, I just came in and I checked in. Um, I didn't want to record because there was patients out there and there was I was sitting right next to the registration desk, so I didn't want to have any of the information on video. But I just finished talking to the nurse and I got so much information um, and I just can't wait to um, go home and talk about what she had told me. Um, and they gave me this little pamphlet of um, just a bunch of information and this is what it looks like. Hold on. So they gave me a bunch of pamphlets, um, of, like a bunch of things to look at um, and read. <sighs> it's just a lot of information, honestly. This is my experience right now. Just a little bit nervous. I don't know why. Nothing's even happening to me. Um, and I'm just waiting for my doctor to come in and talk more about what um, the side effects and if I have any questions. Uh, okay, so I just left the radiation consultation appointment and my doctor is really really nice He explained everything took the time to talk to me about everything and Showed me the x-rays and from what it looks like it I might not even need radiation Which I'm really hoping for that. I don't need it. So I'm on my way to get the kids and go home uh, and then that way we can film the video about what happened and my questions. Bitch, my face is all greasy. <sighs> what time is it? Look at that farmer's tan. That's not when they crashed. So it's like almost 10 o'clock and we've been trying to record this, but Ariana kept <laughs> interrupting, so I just had her. We baked some cookies and they were so good. It was yesterday. Well, that was my genetics and today was my radiation therapy um, consultation and today I just met with a doctor and basically went over everything in case I need radiation which we're still not sure about because I haven't had my MRI which I'm having on Thursday um, but I'm gonna go over a little bit of what he told me that what to expect or he just went over everything um, he gave me a bunch of little pamphlets and booklets um, this one is radiation therapy for cancer and it just kind of goes over almost literally everything um, so I'm gonna try to uh, go over some of this but not into full detail so I just kind of went over um, what radiation therapy means or what it is um, which just it just means it's like um, multiple beams that are being kind of like when they do x-rays on you but these are gonna be obviously a lot stronger um yeah a lot stronger uh, radiation therapy is uh they basically it's, it's exactly that radiation but it's radiation that's targeted at the tumor or the you know the, the cancer cells directly so a lot of times they'll the uh radiation oncologist will um he'll uh, tattoo certain 
spots uh, that the uh, tumor's at, and then they'll administer uh, usually beam radiation or uh, other type of radiation to fragment or basically destroy the process or alter the process. Yeah, basically destroy the tumor, and it can possibly, um, obviously, affect the nearby uh, cells, but uh, mostly what they're trying to do is do more of a target, kind of just your tumor, instead of with chemotherapy, they just give it through the IV or pills or however they're going to give it to you. But with radiation, it's a little bit more pinpointed than giving it to, to you throughout the whole your whole body. It's more towards the uh, damaging the DNA. Cancer cells, they don't, they're cancer cells because they're, they're, they don't know when to stop replicating. So they continue to replicate and replicate and replicate. Unlike normal cells, they, they have a, a, a code or a sequence and they know when to stop replicating, not cancer cells. So radiation targets the DNA and uh, it's basically interrupts the replication process and prevents it from replicating. That's why the tumor will stop growing and uh, it, it alters that and kills the, uh, the process or breaks the, uh, the link in the chain. How he had mentioned that the little tattoos that they might put. So when he was explaining to me basically how they're going to measure my body um, to make sure that every time I go that they will directly hit the same exact spot every single time I go. So the first appointment most likely is that they're going to position me in a certain way and they are actually going to measure everything. There's even, um, I read somewhere and he also told me as well that there could be a possible like mold of me. I don't know how they do that, that I'm not too sure, but like they make a mold out of your body and then they will go ahead and measure with uh, CTs, x-rays, whatever they need, the MRI as well, um, to pinpoint exactly where it is on my body. And once I'm, I guess I'm in the uh, radiation bed, I could say, um, they will go ahead and measure everything also with x-ray at the same time. And they will tattoo little dots on your body to make sure that every time you go, how I said, it'll um, directly hit that same exact spot um, every single time and that was one of my questions because I said well how do you make how do you know you're getting the exact same spot every single time and that's how he explained it to me and they even though they already measured everything every single time you go they still do x-rays every single time they do radiation on you they make sure that it is on the correct spot so it's not just that one time it's every single time they also do x-rays just to make sure. So obviously one of the main ones that everybody asks is what are my symptoms gonna be? You know, I hear a lot of people say like there's horror stories about, you know, radiation uh, ha uh, that happens to them, but everybody is different, um, especially depending on what stage they are. Hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure from what we've seen and heard is that mine is kind of early still, so it's, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be needed or I'm not too sure yet. So that I'm still not sure what they're going to do. But the main one that they told me that they, the side effect that was going to be was going to be a lot of fatigue and just feeling tired, especially if they're going to do chemo and radiation at the same time, then they said that I'm just going to feel a lot more tired. And that's pretty much what they said for that. Obviously, some diarrhea, if it's affecting um, the, it's changing something in that area. Oh, they also did mention to me that it can cause obviously urine problems when you're trying to go um, to the bathroom because obviously your rectum and your bladder are near each other. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> your bladder and your, what was I saying? Your rectum and your bladder are near each other, so if they, obviously if they're gonna do radiation there, it's gonna cause some issues with your bladder as well. So what I didn't know, I can, I did not know anything uh, about that, was that every time you go, they try to have you um, drink a lot to make sure that your bladder is kind of full, and 
the reason they do that is because if it's full, it kind of pushes out all the other um, organs, like your uh, any other intestines, anything out of the way, kind of to make sure that they hit that specific area in your rectum. Uh, so I didn't know that you were supposed to uh, drink a lot and have a full bladder. I also asked because I was um, I've seen one or two people go through radiation and it was not very pretty. It was not very good. Um, so that kind of like scared me a little bit. But I I asked you know will I have severe burns? Obviously in that sensitive area, and they said from the he said from the position where it's at. It shouldn't, um, you know, as sometimes a lot of people, they don't even feel anything until they're already halfway through the radiation treatment. And it's just a little bit of discomfort. Um, and if it's anything on your skin, it's mostly, it mostly feels like a sunburn kind of, but it shouldn't be that bad. And if it, if it does get to a point where it's severe, they will stop treatment for a little while and until you heal and then go ahead and proceed with everything. So another symptom and well side effect, especially for women is, um, which they kind of told us that if I do have the radiation, obviously it's affecting that area. My uterus is in that area. So if we were planning to have more children, there's a possibility that I, I won't be able to have any more children and actually even put me into menopause because of all the radiation that's gonna be hitting that area. And another thing that was different with me as well is that um, I asked if I should have my IUD removed because I believe the IUD that I have has some kind of copper in it. So I don't know if that's gonna affect anything, but the doctor made sure that he was gonna ask uh, my OBGYN or for me to just call my OBGYN and uh, let them know about my concerns. So yeah, just the IUD kind of threw him off and me off because he hasn't really had any young patients with uh, this cancer. So he's kind of like, well, we don't want you to get pregnant, but <laughs> he's like, we don't want you to get pregnant, but you know, I think it could interfere with it. So that was something that we need to figure out what we're gonna do, and I'll let you guys know. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're kissing right in my ear. Okay, so last thing that I, was, I wanna say before I finish this part of the radiation consultation um, is that this um, booklet that they gave me has a lot of really good information, um, pretty much answered all my questions. And also in the back, it has um, what questions should patient ask their doctor. And this is these are really good questions because it could be like for it can target like anything that is specifically specific to you. Um, and I'll see if I can attach this to at the bottom um, of my description. That's it. That's all of that I have to say for this radiation consultation. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll try to answer them as best as I can, but um, I'm just trying to film my experience through all of this and hopefully it can help you guys. Um, if anyone is going through this or a family member or a friend, just to kind of give you an idea of what's gonna come up in the future. Okay, I'm done. No, I'm done, babe. That was a good 15 minutes. And the battery died.